So I have real problems with anxiety. And I'm beginning to understand that there are a lot of people that share the same problem, but maybe just in slightly different ways than I do. But I thought I'd go ahead and talk about my specific kind of anxiety. I get it worse when I have a test coming up. It's kind of bad. It's like... I'll know that I have weeks in advance to study for it, but I'll put it off thinking, oh, I always do fine, I always get A, but then it usually kicks in about two to three days before test day that I just start freaking out and I feel guilty about every second I waste doing something, but that doesn't make me stop wasting time. Even though I feel guilty doing the thing, I continue to do the thing. And this, of course, only causes it to go into a downward spiral where I become more and more anxious until eventually I can't do anything else but study and I just get so worked up to the point that I, I get sick. I get physically ill with how stressed I get. You aren't in control. This world isn't a pretty little box like this video here where you are completely in control of everything. You're just not. And so if you try to really grasp that concept, if you grasp that concept that we're not in control of everything and we're never going to be in control of everything, and instead we just need to be like clouds, you know, just passengers in life. We are going to have to make decisions and we're going to have to do things, but why fret about things in the future? You know, it's best to prepare for your future, absolutely. You know, you need to be smart and you need to prepare for your future, but letting it bother you so much that you become physically ill that's just not good for anyone, not you or anyone around you. And you know, you shouldn't let those negative things that might not ever happen affect the positive things that very well might happen because if you do, you'll never truly enjoy those positive things. So the best idea is for you to get used to the concept that you're not in control and just let go and live day to day loving people and being the best you that you can be. It does us no good to think of potential bad things happening in the future and freak out about them now. It's not happening now. It might happen in the future. It might not happen in the future. There are things that will happen in the future, but worrying about it now does you no good and does nobody any good. And that's not even a strange or difficult concept. Everyone on some level understands this, but something about it communicating from our head to our heart's feelings things, it just, there's a disconnection. We can mentally know we're not in control and things aren't going to happen the way we want them to, but for some reason, we just can't connect to that concept. Somewhere, it just doesn't work, and so we still end up freaking about the future. As much as we know that we can't control it and that it's going to be in the future and that doesn't have to affect today, but it is important to come to terms with that, to understand that things that may or may not happen in the future don't have to control who you are today because those things aren't happening today. Just deal with life as it comes. One step at a time, one foot in front of the other. You're gonna get through this one way or another. I guess the point of this video is to live today for today alone. You know, forget all the negative things that may or may not happen in the future and just enjoy life in the moment. You know, tomorrow might not be such a great day and you might know tomorrow's not gonna be a great day, but that shouldn't stop you from making today a great day. Anxiety, don't pressure us. We're just passengers. See you next time. DFDBA. Oh yeah, and Chelsea, we'll see you tomorrow.